All right, here's a quick vid just to show you how this works. This is our flow box. It takes raw sap, or in our case, concentrated raw sap, uh, from the head tank, which flows down through this hose by gravity. And this float right here maintains the level of sap in our pan as we boil. And what I wanted you to see was the level of sap that's coming in right now. Uh, shut this arm off, it's going on sir. So we've got raw sap coming in through the float right here. Uh, there's a pipe that connects this float box to the pan right there. And you can see right here is where that raw sap is coming in. You see how much lighter in color it is and it's not boiling nearly as hard. As we move down this, this channel, it starts to boil and it gets darker. So this pan has three of those channels and there's a hole in each of these dividers. So that sap comes in down there runs up through this hole in this center channel, down through the hole back there in that, that, that far channel, and then back up to this point right here. You can tell by the bubbles that it's thicker, uh, more viscous, more sugar in it, and this is where we take off finished syrup, um, like we're doing right now. We're drawing off completed syrup. So what we're looking for here what they call a gradient. That's where the syrup changes viscosity as it travels through the pan. This is a continuous pan, meaning in theory, you should be able to draw off finished syrup continuously. Uh, it's pretty tough to do on a pan this small, so we usually tend to draw off in, in, in batches, but uh, overall it, it works really well.